Welcome, I'm from the Samsung Galaxy M11 and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. And when you boot it up for the first time you'll be presented with the uh, welcoming screen right here where you get to select your language. Uh, now I'm gonna stick with English, uh, but you can change it by simply tapping on it. So from there tap on OK and then on the arrow and well, we have some user agreements. So we do have to agree to the first two. So end user license agreement and privacy policy. Now you can also tap on the details to read exactly what you're agreeing to. And from there, uh, the rest of them you can leave empty. As you can see, they're optional, so you don't have to check them on. Let's tap on next. And then have a Wi-Fi screen. So here we can connect to our Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have one near you, you can completely skip this step by tapping on skip. And the only thing you will miss out throughout the setup is the ability to log into your Google account. And but you can still do that later on after the setup through settings, so it doesn't really matter here. So then we have copy apps and data. Uh, this will allow you to basically restore your older device. Uh, now we can tap on next and basically go through the step-by-step -step guide, or we can set don't copy and set the device as new. And we have date and time. Now uh, it looks like it's almost correct. Uh, it's basically one hour off. Um, but yeah, uh, if you connect to Wi-Fi, this will be set automatically, so you don't actually have to change anything. Or if you insert your SIM card and connect to mobile uh, data as well. So I'm just going to disregard this for now. Then we have Google services, so we have things like location scanning and send user and diagnostic data. Um, and briefly, location, just the GPS tracking, scanning, um, allows the device to actually access Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth uh, to scan for stuff and then send user and diagnostic data uh, just kind of gathers data on how you use the device and sends it to google now if you don't want any of these you can simply disable it scroll all the way down and tap on accept then we have protect your uh, phone so here we can set up different ways of protection on our device we have face recognition fingerprint pin pattern password now the first two will require one of the three bottom ones so if you want to add either fingerprint face recognition or both you will still need a physical way of unlocking the device that be pin pattern or password uh, that is so if for instance something happens with your face or your finger you still have another way of unlocking the device um, so this time around i'm just gonna go with the pattern so let's draw the pattern continue redraw the same pattern confirm and that is set now and we get recommended apps, so um, Samsung is trying to give you their apps and if you de don't deselect them and continue, they will be basically installed, but you can toggle them off if you don't want it. Tap on next. And then we have sign in to your Samsung account. And now this step again is optional. If you try to skip it, it will give you a message that you will skip out on all of this, uh, things like Samsung Cloud, uh, Galaxy Themes, Find My Mobile and Galaxy Store. So you're basically skipping out on everything that has a better alternative like uh, from Google, for instance, Samsung Cloud, you have Google Cloud, uh, Galaxy Themes, well you have entire Galaxy Store along with Galaxy, or not Galaxy Store, uh, Play Store, uh, where you can download different uh, launchers and stuff like that. Now Galaxy Store also has an uh, alternative to Play Store. Find my uh, mobile, well, find my device, uh, it's kind of built in into Android anyway. So let's just skip that, it's not like it's anything important. And then we're basically done, so let's finish it up. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.